Shame, Shame that, that tune! tune. You are gathered here tonight in this holy cathedral of music, comedy, and infotainment at the dawn of a new millennium to witness a game show like no other. A game show where your fate is decided by a wheel. A wheel that clicks as it spins. A game show where you'll hear stories so shameful they'd make Cosmo blush. A show where you hear songs so hastily composed the batter is still mostly wet. Are you ready to shame that too? of season three, so please give a warm welcome to our intern, Miss Lindsay Buckingham. <laughs> Exudes confidence, yes. Um, and over here, he comes to us from the Mystic Lotus Center of Positive Affirmations in Santa Fratana del Norte, California. Please welcome the Life Coach. And uh, tonight, it's uh, you know, it's my understanding that the life coach would like to say a few words, since this show is a musical tribute to death. And also, uh, life coach, please, the uh, I give you the floor. 
thank you, Brian, and thank you all for joining us on the premiere of season three of Shannon and Tim. Birth. Death. Same diff. Escalator goes up. Escalator goes down. And the moving sidewalk at Midway Airport is always broken. Maybe they're broken, but on a metaphorical level, is this not a subtle reminder to stop and take in your surroundings? Consider the Led Zeppelin album, In Through the Outdoor. <laughs> While some say the title is a metaphor for anal sex, is this not the perfect expression of life and death? Is death's journey the penetration of a puckered groupie's anus? <laughs> we won't know until we get there. Pause and reflect. Thank you. The life coach show is, uh, yeah, thanks. That's great. <laughs> Makes you think, huh? <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, since uh, the show is death-themed, I decided to follow the example of one of my musical heroes, uh, the guy with the beard from the band Bon Iver, and go way off into the woods, into a cabin. And by cabin, I mean well-stocked second mansion that has been in my family for five generations, <laughs> and reflect on the end of life and what that means, and write some songs about it into my uh, trusty four-track. Uh, wow. So that's where you've been these past two months when we had those shows scheduled. <laughs> yeah, just me and the old four track arena. Yeah. Ah, yes, the four track. So away from the polish of the studios, uh, where a musician cuts right to the quick of his rawest emotional truths. Uh, indeed, indeed. So tonight I'd like to uh, share one of my newest songs, a side project I've decided to call J'ai Plu, which means I am crying in French. And uh, any similarities between my project and Bon Iver are uh, quite deliberate. OK, here we go. <laughs> Out 
explain the category. Let's explain them. Okay, uh, these are all uh, how other artists, uh, much like ourselves and those of you who uh, uh, dabble in the creative arts, uh, responded to uh, this mortal coil. Not the, I don't know what that is. Uh, tears in heaven. Yeah. Tears in heaven. That's actually about meteorology, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. The Living Years. Oh, yeah. Fred Savage, where is he now? Yes. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do? Yeah. Burning up. Burning up. Burning up. Burning up. I, I don't know. What don't it. know him. No. Okay. <laughs> People Who Died? Oh, that was from the record that Leonardo DiCaprio made. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. That's a wonderful record. Good flick. Yeah. Good flick. Uh, Spirit in the Sky. Ah, yes. Spirit in the Sky. Written by a great Christian, Norman Greenbaum. Oh. <laughs> There's an accountant joke in there somewhere. I'm not going to know. Goodbye, England's Rose. That was uh, Sir Elton's response to the song Candle in the Wind. And yeah, and that, that's the tragic passing of that yeah, song. Of that song. Yes. Right, yeah. in, in Paris, I believe. Yes. There's, um, I'll be missing you. Oh yeah. I'll be missing you. Who, who's that one? You're the musician. Of that the one, uh, I think Sting gets the set, and oh. and Puff Daddy gets the spike. Oh, yes. <laughs> Olympics. Yes. Olympics. You've, been, you've got Olympics fever. I can <laughs> symptoms. Uh, pop culture references to. Uh, uh, my heart will go on. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna let you feel that one. I don't remember him. Uh, I, I, it's, it's, uh, that was also on that Leonardo DiCaprio record, I think. Is that an Elton John yeah. song that died also? Okay, yeah. maybe. Um, Froze to death. Yeah. Well, the end. The end. This is the uh, the Doors. Yeah. I do know this is something. That's now know. that's something I remember. Music of my generation. Now we're talking about music of my generation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These new songs. I mean, Good. Good. <laughs> this is uh, from my parents' day, though. This is not my time. Leader of the Path. Okay. Leader of the Path. Yeah. Is that the Shangri Las? Yeah, that okay. a real bad boy. Yes. yes. <laughs> real bad. Real bad. So. Murder was the case. <laughs> that was Angela. What's her name? Murder she wrote. That was my favorite theme song. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Classic episode from yeah. uh, season six. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. Who don't? Um, okay. Okay, uh, and this question mark is a uh, suggestion, a suggestion from one of you in the audience. Something uh, perhaps death related. Uh, Angel, Angel of Death! So yeah, we're going to. Uh, Suicide! Angel of Laura! Okay, so we're going to count to three. Man out of hell! 
And then if you have something, I know this one's tough to come up with. But, you know, you know, you gotta rack your brain a little bit. But I'm gonna count three, just don't, don't hesitate to shout out whatever uh, you have in mind here, okay? So here we go, all right. And Abraham will uh, decide which one uh, he's most willing to do of these, okay? So I'm gonna salute to death, here we go. One, two, three. Mary. Don't fear the reaper, angel of death. Mary Provost. Mary <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna go with Bat Out of Hell. Oh. <laughs> so if that comes up, you might want to get very comfortable. Yeah. It's gonna be a long <laughs> <call for this. laughs> Actually, speak. <laughs> no, right now. No. Um, okay. Well, now we know how to play, and then we, one thing we need to mention. Uh, so our contestants have three minutes to tell their stories, four minutes to be interviewed, and who better to keep time but a life coach? And he will let us know when we're getting close to the three-minute mark. With uh, you will light your stick of incense. That's right. And what flavor? Uh, what flavor? What aroma did you bring for us uh, tonight, uh, Mr. Life Coach? Well, Brian, with the theme being death, I thought I'd go a little outside of the skirts of your normal bodega flavors. Tonight's incense is beached whale. <laughs> okay. Death themed, wow. beached, beached whale. Really good idea. Yeah, so. <laughs> Gonna really air it out here. All right. You guys are too. Okay, so let's play a little shame that tune. Alright, here we go. Yes. <laughs> 